Yeah, hopefully we would never have a situation like Seth having a command grab or a extremely hit invulnerable safe on block option on the other side. <laughs> that yeah. was not a good that. idea. <laughs> no. Hopefully that never happens again. And it anyway. was like, and it was like mean, never changed. But I mean, <laughs> honestly though, and why is really that? Fit. Why is that different than what Mika and Alex can do? Because it's not safe. They can get ex'd by whatever. Oh, because they, they can, can get, get ex'd, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you can, uh-huh. you can theoretically view reversal. I mean, you can. Yeah, like you even, can hard call them. Like even if you, even if you jumped out of Seth. But like, I mean, like as, as Geef, if I jumped out of Seth's stuff, like what it just I helped him. Get? Yeah, like you're like, oh cool, you got away from me. When you come back about, in, I'm gonna put you right back there. Yeah. What about a character like Mika or or Laura who don't have an ex move that can beat? That's that? the problem, all right. I mean, they have fantastic offense and not good mm-hmm. defense. Cool. Yeah, okay. that's true. Yeah, but, but when, when, when it they comes don't have to an Seth, uppercut. They don't yeah, have that like, beats other uppercuts. Seth's uppercut beat almost everything. Right, it was exactly. only some EX uh-huh. moves that it lost to. That was absurd. You right. can use it yeah. in defense. If I was like, oh, you get too close. I got the meter. I'm still going to be safe. Like, yeah, or you see, try to bait like, his uppercut out and he just command throws you. This like, is why, though, I, I just I wanted, <laughs> yeah, so, I wanted so Good much. times, guys. Yeah, people complain about guessing in Street Fighter Five. Do you remember what it's like when you pressured Seth and oh he just like, so woke up and you and you're like, God knows I love Seth that Seth jumps in on you. What does he do? Uh, either I mean, you just have to come. It's a stupid guess. Yeah. There's no weight to it. You know what I mean? Like yeah. guesses are supposed There's, to have like weight to it. You can't. There is no it. weight. Right. You legit is like, uh oh, this is definitely a jump in. I have to guess right now. Yeah. And if anyway, that was guess, a bad game. Yeah. So. If you make a guess, thank you. Yeah. If you make a guess on Mika doing command throw. You jump out and punish. If yeah. You, right. if Yo, I'm telling strike, you right you now. You guess right. You do ex uppercut. You're like, you're fine. Except okay. sure you can screw everything. And it hits you three times. Which is so annoying. About... Why does it have to hit so can, many you times? Can option select into the follow ups. Oh my, what a terrible character. Anyway, I don't yeah, want to think about this super character ever again. annoying. Fucking. I mean, stupid. I, I hope I never see him again in my <laughs> no life. Fucking annoying character. <laughs> Man, I hated it. Dude, ugh. So annoying. Ugh. God. Okay. Why would you do that? James? What happens? What, what else I mean, are you talking I, about? I can't, I can't say anything. One of the first man. times I did commentary for Street Fighter 4, I went on a F-bomb oh. tirade about Seth because I thought he was the stupidest character he ever. He is. So. He was the best character back then and Seth players. I can remember Arturo <laughs> sport Saban, he was like, oh, Seth's not that great. <sighs> Josh the Funk Duck. Yo, shout out to that guy. Played Midwest Championships and I was playing... Zangief, nonetheless. I played Josh the Funk Doc, Vanilla Street Fighter 4, and when I tell you, he beat the shit out of me, yeah. and I was like, it was a good game, Steve. Hey, man, uh, I really don't think this is going to be the game for you. And like just walked off. I was Are like, you serious? Oh, yeah, he was Damn. right. No, that was, he's my friend. He Thank nice you. Yeah. He was telling me, he was like, this is nice. he's like, Steve, I, like I know by the way you play, this is your, don't even do it to yourself. <laughs> I was like, you got it. And then they brought Cody back, and I was like, damn it. I'm going to go try it again, and I just pissed myself off all over again. Just. Yeah, he sucked, and he just moved on. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right, what else is going on? A lot on the old of game there? news. A lot of game news going on here. So I've got events and games news. So uh, Evo Japan was announced, and um, they haven't revealed the lineup, but they announced the date and the, and the location. They said it's going to be taking place in Akihabara, Yeah. Ooh. which uh, apparently they said they chose that location because it's the most... English friendly, I guess. There's a lot more like. I feel like a lot of the places in Tokyo are English friendly, yeah, but yeah, it's like I don't know. It's a cool place to go for gamers, I guess, because there's a lot of video game shops. And... But it's officially announced for January 26th through 28th on 28 in 2018. They so got a year. So yeah. A lot of people, yeah, get ready. Just get get ready and take get um, just start saving your money up so you can travel to there, plan properly. So. Um, GoFundMe is. January 26th. Yeah, but apparently the, 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 the lineup will be announced at EVO, Evo this year. Oh, cool. The lineup yeah. will be announced at EVO this year. And in, in tying with that is that they said that there's going to a pre-EVO Japan tournament, yeah. I guess this summer, that's going to be like Sai, which is going to run a bunch of events over there as well. Yeah. So, uh, But I heard Street Fighter V is not going to be there. There's some kind of licensing yeah. issue or something uh, like that, they said. But they'll have Exert. They'll have Tekken. Boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, they're gonna have Tekken the Gun get to gear there. So, nice. Yeah. So it's gonna Those be good games. It's gonna be the Tasty Steve event. They should just call it the the the, the Tasty, tasty the Tasty Cup Invitational Man. That sounds good name. That sounds yeah. pretty nice. So much damage. <laughs> so much damage. Welcome. Uh, I was to be my drugs. I'm <laughs> <That's it. laughs> So much damage! <laughs> like fireworks go off. That'd be oh sick. my god! Is that really the voice actor for Akuma? Oh my god! <laughs> that was so sick. 
the oh, highlight yeah. of the fan. It was super cool. I'm yeah, definitely was about to review cool. that. I like. I told myself, I was like, man, I gotta tell, talk about this because it, it was, was so sick. Just completely silent. <laughs> it was great. It was great. Great Real clip. Quiet. And Dude, then Eric the guy, is like, the guy he was like, just starts. Screaming. I know what happened in your head. You because you have the mics on and the headphone on and you can't hear yourself, yourself at all. So I'm like, oh my god, this is so cool. And I look at Mark and Mark's like. <laughs> the room is just silent there's no noise you guys are basically commentating all the reveals to the English audience so not, like, not Evo Japan shoegazer we're talking about the pre-tournament the, the side tournament oh, yeah, that's yeah. taking place this yeah. summer you, Japan, you gotta so. think Street Fighter will be at Evo Japan yeah of course be strange yeah. if not uh, but speaking of Evo, uh, Anime Evo which is a group that usually runs a bunch of like poverty games on the side um, has announced their official lineup for uh, for Evo so Anime Evo is going to be running Accent Core Plus R, GGXX Accent Core, uh, Dengeki Buko, Fighting Climax Ignition, Under Night and Birth, EXE Late, Melty Blood Actress Again, Current Code, Gundam Extreme vs. Full Boost, oh. Vampire Savior, Nitro Plus Blasters, Chaos Code, New Sign of Catastrophe, Damn. Uh, Aquapaza, like Puyo, Dude, I don't know. <laughs> Puyo Puyo Tetris, oh, James is in and there. Arcana Heart 3 Love Max. I don't remember why he was oh. reading them all, the and one, Tetris came up, and I was like, The one oh. game that they said that they weren't going to do that a lot of people asked them to do was Ultra Street Fighter 4, and they said that they for just anime didn't feel Evo? the game was anime enough. Sounds for right. Them, so, yeah, come on. Yeah. I mean, just because, like... Look, Street Fighter Four isn't gonna get many entrants, which I guess I don't know. Is that why people thought that it should be included? Because there are other games. No, just a lot of people wanted to play. Oh, a lot of people wanted to play it. So yeah, that doesn't seem like it would fit. Yeah, not with anime. Well, if you want to run it, just run a yeah, side just, I mean, tournament, just right? Yeah, gonna be an easy way to yeah. do that. Yeah. So you only um, you only need a couple of pages for the brackets. Shouldn't, shouldn't <laughs> okay. Um, also, uh, there's a new Smash event coming to Atlantic City called Royal Flush. Which will be a melee and a Wii U tournament. Will be taking place on May twelfth through the fourteenth. There's a ten thousand dollar combined bot bo- pot bonus for it. bot bonus yeah. <laughs> bot, bot bonus. bonus, and it'll be hosted at the Tropicana Resort and Ooh. Casino. Interesting. So a royal. Is it being? Uh, well, who's putting up the ten k for it? I don't Does it say. I just wonder know. if the casinos themselves are involved. A shadowy figure has emerged. <laughs> but it's going to be in Atlanta. <laughs> New calendar. Some Apparently, Leffen, Hungry Box, S Fat, and it's Hacks the boss are already KOL confirmed. Oh, nice. <laughs> I wonder if Royal Flush is going to go. He should just. Yeah. 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 I feel like yeah. his name is in there somewhere. He's got to do it right. I know, it's like right. he's involved. Uh, also, yeah, you said a bunch of big Smash players are going. Mm-hmm. It's like five hundred people are going to show up, for mm-hmm. sure. Free. Yeah. Sounds awesome. Yeah. Uh, also, there's going to be on April 1st and 2nd, there's going to be an event called the Michigan Masters yeah. uh, 2017 that's going to be showing up there. There's going to be over 20 tournaments there with 1K in pot bonuses. Hotel 10 minute walk away. Um, I don't know if they have the full list of games. Well, I see this graphic here with like 7,000 games in there. KOL 14, yeah, Skull Girls, Blue, Fighters Climax. Holy yeah. shit. Everything Blue, is in there. Everything Smash, is in there. So. All the games. Tag 2, Marvel 3. What is uh, that? Is that Girl? Oh, that's Vampire Savior. Third oh, Strike. Nice. But yeah, this will be yeah. hosted by Joe's Gaming Center in Sterling Heights, Michigan. And it will be streamed on twitch.tv slash the almighty LPZ. Why? Well, look, Michigan Masters, uh, you guys should just turn change that name to Michigan Mashers. I just don't think that's cooler. Genius. Why yeah. wouldn't they do that? Seems like Michigan a very easy Mashers. switch. Yeah, it's true. Actually. Even, I mean, you even know what? graphically it would be easy, right? Yeah. <laughs> but you just, you just don't want to give, give that feeling of mashing and fighting games, right? I mean, come on. I mean, it's for fighting. Nobody is going to know about it except for like fighting game players. Exactly. Dude, you, even the logo mashers. would be cooler. You could make an M, just one big well, M, I mean, and then mash Even the best That'd fighting game player in the world is kind of a mash. Like, he's mashing buttons. But see, I mean, like, to be honest with you, I mean, like, even, like, when we went to Sen Cal, they had, they, like, they were in their newspapers and everything. Like That's that, true. Like, so, yeah. Sen Cal so, mashers. I mean, if you're, if you're reading the Fresno, B? daily Fresno, and I don't know. Like, do you do you know what mashing is in the yeah, car? Like, does that right. mean anything it doesn't to you? Mean, it doesn't mean anything, so yeah. I know. I'm just, I'm just... I'm being I don't know what their newspaper is called. The Daily Fresno. The definitely the Daily Fresno. I thought you were gonna say the Daily Bugle, for some reason. Oh, the Fresno Fresher. The Fresno. The Fresno Refresher. Fresh in Fresno. 
You'll get it someday. You're Steve. getting there. All right. Those are all good names. That's yeah. all I had for events. Um, let's move on to some gaming news here. Uh, just announced. One of the new silhouettes was revealed from KOF. They already announced Yamazaki. Lip, but they're adding in Yamazaki, who beats you over the head with fish and all sorts of other. Yeah, really he grabs cool a things. different item from all the stages. Right, exactly. Yeah. That was so a really cool. good trailer, by the way. Mm-hmm, yeah, I that agree. trailer was sick. Yeah, I'm sad he doesn't have the tongue. knife anymore, though. Oh, did he not have he a knife? Have, he doesn't have the knife. Oh, I he's think. not doing the, the knife. <laughs> he, I don't oh, think he does okay. it anymore. That's a bummer. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Fre- Fresno B. That's what I said, too. I just said sure the Fresno is. V. Man, of course not hurting me. Anyways, um, there we go. There's Yamazaki there sticking his tongue out at all. Yeah, that trailer was sick. It was, was good. really good. Yeah, I'm, I'm super happy. The I game, mean, game still does not look very good, but I that think, character, like, as ter- in terms of his animations and his, I don't yeah. know, kind of how he looks, not graphically, if that makes sense, I, I think he looks really cool. I, I just want to see how he's going to play in the game now, yeah, yeah, especially sure. in this new system, like, he gives a very '98 feel to me, and that's why I'm really like hype about the character. So I want to zone with. Be safe. Yeah. Not people. Oh, man, he still has a projectile that. counter, mm-hmm. and it's like huge now. Mm-hmm. Like, oh man. Man, cool character for sure. That trailer. Was he was sick. one of my the favorites in the so CBS good. games, dude. I mm-hmm. used to Same. love playing him. On. Yeah, the trailer was really, really good. Uh, also, I'm super happy. I think right now it's officially either 65 days or 64 days. But they've announced oh, yeah, the release U.S. Date. release date for Guilty Gear Exert Rev, Rev 2. It's in it May. It's going to be on With all the other games. May 26th. Yeah, it's going to be crazy. And they said that uh, pre-purchasing, you can pre-purchase it for $40 right now. Ooh. So oh. the full price of the game is $40, and I believe the, the upgrade. upgrade will probably be around $20. 20. Yeah, I think they said the upgrade is 20 bucks. Did they? Okay. Don't I feel like I read that somewhere, that the upgrade is $20. I know, I know the Japanese one, that's about the price of it. Uh, like, yeah. that they announced the, the Japanese price for I see. it. So. But yeah, that and then also there's going to be a third and final location test for it. They they've been showing some. What's going I, on right now, isn't it? Yeah, haven't you? Have you seen some of the footage? Yes, dude? they yes. showed like they showed like first they showed gameplay for biking, and she definitely looks like classic biking. Like Air Five K still instant pops up. Um, counters look like they work the same. It seems like they're harder to get out. Though. Dude, I I just can't freaking understand. Like they're every time they make new characters, they get so much better at the animation with oh, that yeah, style. Yeah. The intro for Biken, the instant did you kill the, the instant kill? Did you it, see it, it zooms oh, out? Did you see yes. Yes. Yeah. yeah, they show the instant Jesus. kills. Really Dude, awesome. it's like Biken's. It zooms. It shows her like out. fighting, and then it closes like a the silhouette. Doors, like the yeah. way it but is. it shows like the koi fish in the pond. But she cuts everything in half, and you see it fall and it then it really zooms good. out further and it's on a TV like an old samurai yeah, movie I'm like what? Yeah. Dude, oh man. The, the answer, kills are so sick. The answer jumps like on a giant snake yeah. and the snake like launches you up in the air and it's like, like super the Naruto. crap out of you and then eats you. It did remind me of Naruto. That's yeah. what I was thinking Dude, too. Like the animations are ridiculous. Like mm. Viking looks so cool. I'm like you Yeah know, they look really well done. I'm super happy about this. And the release date is in May which is super busy time. Yeah. Uh, Everything's August. coming out in May. Yeah. Dude. And just Everything. Injustice 2 will be releasing in May. That game Tekken. is coming out in May. Uh, Tekken, Tekken is June, right June 2nd. Uh, right. So it's right, right, right after. Yeah. Yeah. Well that was after it was delayed a little bit. Yikes, right? man. So. Uh, Shin That's Hasako is out now. Shin Yo, Hasako. what's up with the Shin Hasako, man? That is a uh, like, ooh yeah. That caught my eye, man. She is really cool, actually. I think that my favorite thing about Killer Instinct characters is when they have the clone characters or the characters who are like built off another character. Like clearly, a lot of her they're like, like animations, EX characters. Yeah, a lot of the animations are built off Even of more different. I would say they're yeah they're yeah, super different. Like yeah. Kilgore and, and Fulgore are very very different. Shin Hasako and regular Hasako are very different from each other. Like you can tell a lot of the animations are reused. Yeah. But in like completely different ways, like you know, it's like uh, like Kilgore has the same blade dash kind of looking thing that Fulgore has, but it functions completely different. Like it shoots guns from really far away and stuff like that. So they do a really good job of even with the clone characters, like making them play completely unique. Uh, yeah, and she, she's not the last character either. There's another character after. There's another she's like after. a Rekka character whose yeah. regular dash is a basically teleport like a command dash, dash right? teleport yeah. Yeah. that ends up with you dropping down from the sky, like yes. right, right next to the opponent. Um, so moving around with her is really weird because you can't just dash normally. Yeah, exactly. Right? So you have to walk. So that, that's cool. And then she has a fireball that is basically like Venom plus Leos. Yes, exactly. Um, so you stick out the fireball and then you hit it and it be, it turns into like the big old X, mm-hmm. like Leo, 
but it can go horizontal or up, or you can do it in the air and it goes down. Yes. Oh, that and it moves quite cool. slowly. So yeah. you can follow it up with whatever. It up and then her want. instinct, yeah, keep in mind she has a teleport, right? So, yeah, so it's like, um, Oh, yeah. So then she also Ooh, has, her instinct yeah. is this roaming hands, hands that come from hands. the ground. It that from the pit? A, oh! Uh-huh. It's, it's, a grab, <laughs> it's a command grab projectile. So, oh, so man, imagine that this. Cool. So you have this very slow moving projectile and a teleport. And the little hey, hands move like a long. horror movie, you're man. Done. Yeah, you're done. How you get out of that? I'm hella down for that character. <laughs> you no, know, because, because very interesting the, design. The creepy hands are from Hisako stage. She has like a ultimate or like uh, the stage. Ultra yeah, it's or like it pulls you. She, yeah, you get pulled down. So they took the animation from the stage and that, and it made it like a slow crawl projectile on the ground. Where if you All get right. if you land on it, you just get stuck. So people have like set up it's the like stuff where they. It. They like end wow, their combo awesome. and it's then crazy, they force yeah. you on to like the hands, so like you just like do it's something. Re- it's stuck really hard to escape. Is yeah, that it's super move called the dead man's hand. Maybe it's called the Maybe. instant grabby Maybe. hands. <laughs> 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 That's what I say. All Good job, right. Isaac. Yeah, Isaac um, names all the mo- the move names, and when he gets on commentary, he calls it exactly what it is. Yeah, they, they hit him with the rolling ball. I I commentated with him at Kai Cup, and I don't think he did actually. I think I don't remember him saying anything that wasn't like. Dragon Punch or Fireball? I don't, yeah. I don't feel like you did any of that stuff. And I certainly did not, because I yeah, don't you, know you, any of the names The move names are wacky, right? No one knows the move names. Yeah, they're all like Nikali names. Yeah, they're all yeah, Tomb the, of Altercations. Shinsasaka like, looks cool, Biken looks cool, Answer looks cool. On yeah. the opposite side of the spectrum, they announced two new characters for Injustice 2. Oh. Uh, Firestorm and... She, no, no. The in candle, all seriousness... The dead Kill yeah. and... Cat. Somebody. Flamio. Cat. And Cat Lady. No, oh, Cheetah. I, I, I about Cheetah. Like Cheetah, Not looks, che- che- Cheetah looks decent. But she looks terrible. Are you serious, dude? Thank compared you. to Firestorm, dude. I think she is. Firestorm the is grossest. like a candle. You, you, you know what? I, you know what I was thinking about while I was watching the animations, uh, is that when they when they have the characters talking during the intro, they have the faces, but like the faces don't move like humans. You know what I mean? Like yeah, like, uh-huh, when, uh-huh, when somebody's uh-huh. talking, you talk a little bit, you move a little bit, right? Right. But uh-huh. like their head is exactly the same and. That's like, all yeah, it changes. Uh-huh, it's uh-huh. only this it one. It morphs inside. Yeah. Like, but the head doesn't move, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's super weird looking. And I just, and I just feel like her stuff. face is... Bu- oh, yeah, yeah. No, her... Yeah, yeah I mean... It's so terrible. It, I, it's not gotten any better since... <laughs> it's, like, surprisingly terrible, I feel. I, I even feel, in the context of that game. I wonder <laughs> if, like, inside the office, they're like, all right, so we got another girl character coming out. How bad can we make this? Maybe. Like, like, how <laughs> much can we make people? I like, feel like they're doing it now to make us say that they changed it. Like they improved it. They're like, yo, we're really gonna get these guys now. Right, Release they, they, they ugly cheetah. And, and it's like, Jesus it's... Christ, she looks like a brick. Wait till the update. You can see it yeah. because they showed off cheetah's hot. You know, like, they showed off Doctor Fate, and he looked. Awesome. Doctor Fate looks, looks sick so as shit. Good. I'm definitely man, playing Doctor Fate. That character man. looks cool. Like yeah. I just, man, I really like that character. Like of the characters Candle now. Candleman. I mean, look at this thing, dude. Look yeah, at check out thing. Fireman over there. <laughs> Play me God, out. He so looks exactly Even when he wins and he does the spin around takeoff, I, I, if I had a tomato, I would peg him in his face. I That's how lame he this looks. This game needs to come out on PC so they can mod in the candle from... Uh, what Disney movie is the candle? Oh, Beauty and, and the Beast. Beauty and the Beast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. they got to mod in the candle yeah. where dude, he's like... just be sitting there and go... Be Lumiere, right? Yeah, yeah. Just be yeah, yeah. That's our service to the test. That would be really sick if uh, oh we need a PC mod of him as the candle from Beauty and the Beast. Anyway, their yeah. gameplay looks interesting, Super right? Great, yeah. They look like they have cool gameplay ideas. Oh, oh but they show like Cyborg that too. T- that, they show looks Cyborg. Like, look at that face. Oh, looks like the, the grandma from Resident Evil Seven, right? <laughs> Well, I don't know. I don't know. Definitely no looks like the grandma from Resident, Resident Evil Seven. Yeah. I know that old face yeah. anyway. I've like seen her in that house. I seen you in that house. I know you're there. Yeah, like, I don't it's, know, man. Or the mom. I don't know what lady it is from Resident Evil Seven, but whatever it is. I feel like, it I feel like some is. animator no, came up the with month. a better idea than that in the first place. Because certainly the people who work there are not all idiots, right? There are definitely good people there. Some animator came up with something better than that, and they were like, "That's not the direction we're going with for this character. You need to downgrade it a little bit. You need to angle it up a little bit." My it's thought almost process. Like they, it's almost like they, they need to make Wonder Woman look pretty, so they just make everyone else look Oh, up. man. The, 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 the dumb cheerleader down, theory? The, yeah. <laughs> the cheerleader theory? Yeah, you put all the, yeah, yeah, you put all the cheerleaders together, and you, know, you never heard about that? No. I oh, think yeah. it's actually a real thing. No, right? it is a real thing. Yeah. Yeah. Like, a group of people. Yeah, I forget exactly. If you look at a photo that. of a group of people, when they're all together, like, 
they don't look as bad. Yeah. But then when you split them up, you suddenly notice, oh god, that one over there looks way oh, grosser than I remember. Wow. Yeah. So I think that's a that's, that's a, a real I feel like theory. I learned about that in school. Yeah, I, yeah. I remember that too. Uh, I'll tell you this though, I, the gameplay does look great. Man, yeah. I'm, I'm really excited <laughs> for the Injustice gameplay. Gosh, she does need braces. You are totally right. She's a animal. Lady. Some people in the chat Some are like, please, please get rid of the picture already. Yeah. So yeah, no, but I mean, I mean, okay, outside of the fact that they are just. God, like how does the their gameplay, gameplay look? Cool. To you? Yeah, yeah, it looks right. cool. I feel Cheetah might have command grabs. I'm not really sure. Uh, it's yeah. hard to tell. Kind of, yeah, yeah, kind of right. Right. the small thing. thing is, oh man. Because the thing well, is, like, because remember, yeah. it turned out Black Canary's move wasn't a command throw. Right. So, like, I, it'd be nice if Cheetah's was Agreed. were actual command throws. Agreed. Right? Yeah, I'm sure she'll so. be fun to play. It's just a question of, you know, how much are you willing to put up with in terms yeah. of? Your oh eyes. yeah, the co-creator of Swamp Thing did pass away. I couldn't remember his name though. That's what's crazy. Oh man. They just showed off that character's uh, gameplay for realsies. Because they did a little video, but then they showed off some more of it. Man, he looks so sick. And they showed Cyborg, they showed uh, Hawkeye, Cyborg. Uh, Poison Ivy, I Hawkeye? believe. Hawkeye? Hawkeye. No, no. Sorry, Green Arrow. Sorry. In the, Sorry. In the, that's, in the, that's my job. Is <laughs> Hawkeye. In that trailer, yeah, in the trailer for Cheetah, did it look like they had the, 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 the Black Green. Knight guy in there? Oh, yeah, uh, Robin, right? Isn't that the new Robin? No. No, no. What no. are you talking about? The guy with the sword. The guy with the sword Damien. and the shield. Uh, yeah, Robin. Was that Robin? Yeah, that is Robin, right? That Damien. Was, oh, it looked like the Black Knight guy from... The, oh, uh, maybe. Are you thinking Ares? No, it wasn't. No, it's no, definitely no. not Ares. Okay. I don't, I don't know, know who he's talking about. I watched about. it on a phone very small, very There's quickly, definitely so. a character that has a sword in there. I thought it was Robin, but I'm... Clearly not the person to talk to about that stuff. Because so, I, I just know. remember that because in in the Justice League cartoon, there's that night guy and then there's that cowboy guy, and I'm just like, really, there's a night guy and a cowboy guy. Yeah, Jonah Hex and I forgot yeah. what the other. No, guy there was, was another there. cowboy guy. Jonah Hex was a guest in some of the episodes, but there was that other guy with the red the red you know bandana over his. I know what you're talking about. I don't remember his name. Yeah. Though. Oh yeah, exactly. Damon Wayans. That's right. Yeah, yeah Damon Wayans is the Robin in this game. Damon Wayans? <laughs> Damon Wayans. Damon Wayans. I was like, Some am I tripping? Damon Wayans versus Robin. Shoot Some Kill. Some people it was Robin. Okay, so okay. Damon okay. Damon Wayne versus Black Shoot Knight. Kill. Black Knight. Hawkbow. Yeah. Hawkbow. Shining Knight. Oh, Lord, Vigilante. Lord Hawkbow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Man, there's, Pyro. There's a lot of... Re- right now, the Dragon Tattoo Council is meeting to, to excommunicate David. They're glowing up in the sky. <laughs> and they're sending beams... <laughs> <laughs> Look, somewhere in a cornfield is, somewhere. I feel like they're the they had to dig down into the barrel of uh, of the DC universe to get in there. Like you know you know when you make coffee, right? And you got the gross exactly, coffee grounds yeah. down at the bottom. Oh, and you, man. At some point you I run out of coffee and it's like you just digging in the crap. There's just black crap. It's all ugh, in the bottom there. I think that's the characters that we're getting right really? now. Really? Cheetah? A cheetah's kinda whack. Oh, I've I think been I, saying this. I, I feel like Cheetah. The, I think Doctor like, Dr. Fate, Fate is cool. Fate? No, no, I think Dr. you would Fate like Dr. So Fate, though. Yeah, I'm Dr. serious. Well, he looks like a cool character to play. I just think he... I don't know. I feel like he's one of those coffee grounds. No, no, he's cool. He's, he's actually cool. really cool. Yeah. All right, man. I mean, but I, you, I do You just need to watch the Justice League cartoon. I, guess I, I think, must. like... Because he was cool in the Justice D- League Dude, cartoon. DC characters, look, I've said this. DC has pretty slim pickings when it comes to, like, cool characters. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. However... However, like... It wasn't that much coffee in that. Yeah, Cheetah, come on, dude. Bunch of grounds. Yeah, like, I feel like a lot of the cool characters that I liked in Injustice 1 are not back yet, but then there's other characters that are not as cool. And I'm like, yeah. damn it. Like, like I, I like the reach, I, though. I feel like they're not going to have them in because of it. I'm, I'm happy that they brought in characters like Swamp Thing and, like, Dr. Fate. Like, I'm really hype about that because it... Like, those, yeah, those are... Sick. They're really I, I, cool I'm characters. Yeah, and the way that Harley looks just, now just, is really just, just, just put all Batman characters in there. That's, that's like the, the one thing they're trying to avoid, Yeah, though. I know, because that's what they did in the Batman first game. Yeah. Well, it wasn't even like there was too many. It's just you don't want it to be the whole Batman universe thing. It's for that to happen. It's too easy to get Rachel Ghoul versus Scarecrow it's like, like an need, entire yeah, game. You need, See, you need to make I'm, other DC cooler to me. <laughs> <laughs> they, they want other. It DC. actually does sound. Cool. It does. It does. <laughs> they want other DC characters. Oh shit! The fear, the fear gas. For the, yeah, the awesome. Scarecrow should be in the game, I think for sure. But Dude, like, can you imagine the cool things they could do with fear gas? Oh like, wow! They, yeah. they probably would come up with really interesting ideas for that. You and then, do, the obvious one is to make the controls reverse. Nah, come on. That's like the most that's obvious. No, that's actually really dope. Just, they did it in Marvel superheroes with with, with Thanos. If you or had even the, just make it the mind thing, it yeah. actually yeah. reversed your. But I mean, Jason does that. Jason does it too. Jason does right? that. Yeah, yeah, but you can also just make it so that if you get hit by the gas, all his moves have 
huge like phantasmal effects because of or, it because you're scared of them oh don't, yeah don't I was about to say stuff, that's right? tight yeah. it's um, gonna look like terrible garbage regardless <laughs> when it comes to that Damn. but there could be very interesting gameplay mechanics and I do believe that they would have them because I someone have a lot of respect someone said that, that Scarecrow was leaked maybe so maybe and he, he was in the game. mobile game but no yeah. one knows oh, if they'll be okay, in the mobile okay. game yeah, but yeah I don't know they're tra- probably trying to put in a bunch of characters that'll be in the cinematic Right, that's what Universe. I figure. So, like, yeah. for example, I did, honestly, I didn't know who, who Rocket Raccoon was when he was in Marvel 3 for the first time. So, I get that. I just feel like there's a lot of Rocket Raccoons in this game. Where, like, there's I too many, man. Man, I'm not even going to go on that right now. Raccoons. Yeah, they're like all Rocket Raccoons. Yeah, and then when Rocket Raccoon was put in the game, but he like, actually looked super cool and interesting. And he was, yeah, because he's like, he swears. He's like Conklin's bad friend. small, day. yeah, uh-huh. Yeah, I like, assume that Cheetah will be involved with the Wonder Woman movie somehow, some way, or in the mm. future, or maybe in Justice League or yeah. something. What if, what if you're an actress and your agent comes to you and is like, "I got a good gig for you. All right, you're gonna play NRS. You're gonna play Video Cheetah. Games. No, no, you're, you're gonna. Well, there's a movie coming out. You're gonna play Cheetah. Here's what the character looks like straight from this latest video game. Would you be offended that your agent thought that you would be the perfect woman to play that role? Would you be offended at that? I would. With the amount of dollars they're offering. Damn, you'll be ugly for the money. You know. Yeah, I'm gross. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm for gross. The money. Sure. All right. Because I don't know what else you say to that. Uh, you just wait for Marvel to offer you another better looking character. <laughs> <laughs> That's the strategy. I'm still hyped for the game, though. I oh, just, yeah, of I course. We definitely too. just want them to pick cooler people. Just ask me. I got you guys covered. I think the, I think it's going to be a blast to play. Cause I've, sure. I've always liked NRS games. I, I forgot to mention this during the event stuff, but uh, Red Bull Proving Grounds announced a lot of their formats and everything now. Mm. So they announced a bunch of extra cities, and there's going to be two seasons. There's going to be like a conference thing where it's like East versus West. And then for the first season, like whoever, whatever city wins, like their entire city gets flown to EVO. That's sick. Like the people uh, who win get flown. So it's like, yeah. it's regional based. There's like, yeah. what, six regions or, or seven regions and then mm-hmm. online region. And, uh, you know, when they finish competing or whatever, it's like a team event is what they announced or something like that. Mm-hmm. And then the winner of that gets their top eight placers at their region get all flown to Evo. Is how it works. I think Very it's cool. Super I think it's cool. great. Yeah. yeah so it's a way to build like, you know, community rivalry and coast yeah. rivalry and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah. I, I really like the Red Bull. Uh, they have an eye to the community for sure. Yeah, right. That's a big focus for them. I, I really appreciate that. I think that is very cool. Yeah, that was annoying too. So Curly W asked asked the question. For some reason, they put Chicago in the West and Houston was in the East. I don't understand why they did that for the conferences. Um, that doesn't make any sense I, I don't to know, me. Yeah. But you know, what are you going to do? But uh, the last thing that I wanted to mention was that uh, I guess Martin is not going to have to wear the this space for rent shirt that he was trying to design for E-League Elite. anymore. Genius. That's funny. It's very he funny. actually was sponsored by Rise Nation and now he is a sponsored player on E-League. And I wish we could say more about E-League but we don't know any details yet, right? Mm-hmm. Like, you just know the groups and when it's yeah. supposed right. to happen. Uh, yeah, we know the matchups. It's supposed to start this weekend, right? They posted a schedule on the... No, it's like next... Is it next weekend? Tuesday, okay. Tuesday or Monday okay. or something okay. it starts. I don't know. It's like... Not this week, but next week, as far as I know. They uh, they posted a... Like, if you go to the main site, they have the schedule of the matches. It's literally like, day whatever, here's all the matches being played in the group for that day, and in what order it is. If you go to the mm-hmm. website, it's all on there. Interesting. Right. So it's like, first match of this is LPN versus whoever, and then whoever versus... It's like they have the whole schedule, so if you go to the website, you can totally see it. But there's... Yeah, there's not a lot of radio silence besides that. It feels, like, it feels a lot like the South by Southwest stuff going on here. But yeah, here it's unfortunate. Mars is now part of I wonder if that's the best picture for him that I was just thinking, know, that's, there's right? gotta be something. There's definitely better there. pictures. I feel like that must have been altered digitally. I don't think that that's how it looked like it was <laughs> I mean, really, like, it doesn't look like it was, I don't know, edited somehow. It's always funny, Blurred though, because like people, like you know, there's always that joke where like the pictures you put yourself up like are always all beautiful and then other people. Oh, like, yeah, yeah. Big, your but profile like, picture is always, are you looking amazing? And then the pictures right. you're tagged but like, in But the funny thing bad. is, like, other people probably think that the picture looks good. Like, I thought the picture that I picked of you was good, but you yeah. don't like that oh, picture. Oh, yeah, I wasn't a huge fan of it. Yeah, so give me a new, especially now with your new hair. Like, dude, give me a picture. Give Same me a haircut, beautiful I always picture. I, no, I, I, I got to be honest, new. I haven't, I would not have thought you had new hair. You're such a hater, David. I'm not trying I to be a jerk. I just, that dude, he looks clean. I feel like he you. I mean, clearly you got a haircut. I just thought it was the same, but no. shorter. 
it's the same kind of thing. Yeah. It's not it is. Different. It is. Right? No, no, no. no. no, no. But I'm being just modest, say jam. Don't I'm give it to him. It's different. You tell us. I'll let you have you it. Give me a new picture and I'll replace your picture on there. I, I, I think it looks nice. I just thought it was the same haircut but shorter. In fact, the picture I picked of myself, I gave to other people, and other people were like, this was a terrible picture you chose of but yourself, picture, James. So picture, I was like, what? That's how it always is, uh, right? Uh-huh. You're like, man, I look great in this picture. And they're like, look at you. You're all weird looking. You look a little bloaty. Yeah, you got, yeah. like that picture. <laughs> you're a little bloated. Huh? Got a little a water weight going. Booger hanging you out don't of your nose hear that. and all kinds of gross maybe, maybe, maybe that was the issue with this Martin picture. Maybe there were boogers. They had to airbrush them out. Damn. He looks That's like why he's it's all messed away. up. They had to like blur it because he had like just boogers <laughs> hanging out. Of that was the best <laughs> they could find. Uh, poor Mark. I see anyway, I'm, I'm happy that he joined the thing. I think that's really cool. Yeah, I, I liked his announcement too. Like he tweeted out, he was like, "I have to announce now that I am no longer a part of Team Marn. I have left Team oh, Marn yeah. and joined Team Rise that's Nation." Funny. I thought that was he's pretty a silly fellow, isn't he? Clever. So, but yeah, that's uh, that's all the news that I have that I could think of and spot. I don't know if there's anything else. You okay there, sir? I'll have you, you know tired. that my hair, my hairline is exactly the same. In fact, my hairline, this is true, is better. And when I come in to get my hair cut with the same lady I've been getting my hair cut for like eight, eight or nine years, maybe, um, she's always like, man, I can't believe your hair. Like, It's like coming back. Because there was definitely a period of time when it, when it was worse. And that's Great. actually why I'm growing it out a little bit. Because now I'm like happy that it managed to survive. I haven't it, had a haircut it put up a, a good fight, you yeah. know, and it's uh, it's sticking around. You're talking about the fact that someone said our hair looks similar? No, uh, Spavlin oh. actually said that it looks like my hairline's receding. But it's not. Oh. It's it's good. Yeah. Everybody good says place. that, man. Someone said that Everybody's hairline is receding, yeah. you know? Somebody said fine. that we have the same hair, and I was like, oh, not exactly. <laughs> I mean, it's cut very differently, but it's hard oh, to yeah, I don't think we have the same hair. Yeah. yeah. We're just both I'm, white. I'm growing it out. I like it. Yeah, it's good. I actually have been thinking about, like, Trying to not cut it as short as it is. I'm trying to cut it a little longer. We'll see. Cool, man. I want to change well, Look at you. I know. It's I get it so short right now. I don't know. I gotta yeah, think. Yeah, it, yeah. There's not as much of it for me to put my hands through if it's short. You I'm know? not losing my hair. It's cool. Yeah. That is really good. Yeah. Man, one day when you're my age, it'll just all go away. <laughs> and you'll just you'll be wondering. Hey, man. At my age, like I said, you're the, fact definitely that keeping I have this, have, uh, the fact that I have this hair, you're I am a it. happy man. Yeah, yeah so. and at this point, if you haven't lost it now, you're probably not going to. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're yeah, keeping it. Lost it's you. stuck mm-hmm. on there. Mm-hmm. Probably just hanging out for so the, I'm, the next... I'm in a good place Your final right 10, 15 years. I definitely yeah. got my mom's jeans then, then <laughs> over, over... You wear mom jeans? jeans? I do wear mom <laughs> jeans, actually. Mom jeans. You I wear mom long jeans time. when I make dad jokes. Right? He's got he's got this sweet jacket on, but if you look down below, he's got some mom jeans Oh, he definitely... I don't know. I can't see his jeans. Oh, he's got the normal jeans. On. Mom jeans. No, no, I, I actually that. don't have. I know exactly what that I, is. Because st- you've told me many times that I need to get better jeans. Oh yeah, man. Yeah. We're gonna. Help I you like out. the baggy clothes. I wear like the baggy jeans, and you said that's just that's, not that's, that's Rip, granddad style. Yeah, Rip. Man. Rip used to be all about the baggy jeans, and then Steve bought him one fitted pair of jeans with holes in them, and it changed his life. It's that easy, man. You changed. He was like, my knees are really cold though, but the jeans look great. <laughs> Well, just as yeah, long the as they're not, small cost, as long man. as they're not Commander Jesse status, okay? Yeah, like, that man's got a somebody mm. just carved a big old. I know, right? They just like Jesse. I understand. The These jeans guys. look awesome. They look great, but all I can think is, man, it's cold out. How does he? It must I be mean, cold. I, I used to have baggy jeans and pants. Well, were you a actually, jean cold guy? No, I didn't own jeans for probably ten years. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Uh, I don't know, man. I grew up in a particular place and time, all right? Dude, actually, I didn't start white wearing jeans until shorts. very No, I wasn't white I used to wear khakis all the time. That's yeah, all it was, I used it was to just wear. khakis. I just wore and khakis. And khaki shorts that went uh-huh. down too far. You know, but look, uh, you move on eventually. <laughs> you, you move out eventually. Dan yeah. is actually wearing nothing on the be, table right now. Well, you know, I got a thin, I think I got a thin slice of clothes on, but not a whole yeah, lot. Yeah, yeah. Not a whole lot down there. You heard it here first. <laughs> That's true. I may have uh, forgotten to double up down there. So. <laughs> Thanks, guys, for tuning in to the Tuesday show. Hope you guys enjoyed the return after our Explains little a hiatus. Uh, you were asking about the humidification, right? about the fact <laughs> that we were gone for The machine sensed it. It was like, whoa, got a little sticky in here. Got <laughs> <laughs> an air freshener. 
Hope you tune Follow in. the bell. <laughs> Keep following us on twitch.tv slash TV. You can follow me on twitch.tv slash jchenzar. Yeah. Twitch.tv slash tasty well. underscore steve. Over twitch.tv there. slash sayjam and twitch.tv slash ultradavid. Yo, are you doing your follow all political of us? thingies yet? Uh, I have to get a new CPU for the computer. But yeah, as soon as that happens. Then I, I want to see if I have the criteria yet to do my 12-hour... Breath of the Wild stream on Sunday. Twelve hours, bro. What do you mean by criteria? I do. Ooh, okay. Whoa, so as a celebration for getting to fifty k followers on Twitter, yeah, I am going to do a twelve hour Breath of the Wild stream this Sunday. So did, did you, you just reach that milestone? Is it that says like fifty thousand and one. Like I, I hadn't been there this whole time, and I just got there now. This guy. So fifty thousand and one followers. That's right, baby. That's right. So do I'm we, gonna do, do a. Do the rest of us hours? have fifty thousand combined? No, no way. Uh, probably combined. How much do you have? I'm not really sure. I didn't think so. You can find out though. Dang, James is too esports for all. Of He's us, way bro. too esports. Got an esports it's, mobile. It's, it's, it's the it's the it's the pinchable cheats. I got thirty eight point oh. seven k. God yeah, yeah, damn, yeah, 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 bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, we all have it combined. Then never mind. Okay. Wait, how many I have? You have like. Let me see. I want to see. 11 or 12. Oh, shit, cool. What do no, you no, we're in there. I'm at 12 1. Oh, yeah, man, so you, you plus me. All right. Yeah, yeah, we don't even need you. We don't even need you. Okay, cool. I need you, Sage. Yeah, yeah, I need but you. Too. I will, I will, <laughs> He's like, yeah, I need you too. <laughs> I, will, I, will, I, will, I will do a Breath of the Wild stream on Sunday then. I'll awesome, just man. do 12 hours of I started Breath playing of the Wild, that game. So. That game is godlike. Yeah, dude, I, I watched. Play, dude. <laughs> so let me tell you the last end of my stream, I was like, all right, who am I going to host here? So I opened it. The last 20 minutes, I was just chilling, talking to my stream. And in the other tab, other monitor, I had Steve's stream open, and he was climbing the same mountain <laughs> for like twenty <laughs> minutes. I just like periodically looked Man, over, that game and is like oh. I hosted Steve, and then he immediately climbed all the way up the mountain, and I was like, "Damn it!" I wanted to host him, <laughs> failing to climb but the see, mountain. See, if you're climbing the mountain the whole time, it just doesn't work unless they're playing Snake Eater the whole time. Yo, right? I'm saying, like, was so that was he was climbing the mountain for so long. I failed like five Snake times. Snake Eater, yeah, it was but like, that game so is so sick though. Well, so good man it was really funny i couldn't get over it every time i looked over at the other monitor i'm like this guy dude oh and he yeah. was getting so close he was like right off the edge and then the stamina all the man, way down just is giving me the worst hands ever he's like you gotta jump now i'm like why would i jump now but <laughs> dead like it was oh, i also man. forgot to talk about another important fgc announcement though which was uh the beginning and quick ending of flo's interviewing career man that was a bomb <laughs> yeah, yeah he got destroyed <laughs> That was just, and you have to give Rom all the credit in the world. That was like the yeah, best answer. Uh, he was so slick. ready for that. It made uh, me proud. That's yeah. That's how no, I, I didn't expect I mean, it. At honestly, all. we had this whole thing like we were just gonna let Flo do this long old interview. That like, and then he just cut it short, and it was just like the most amazing what, thing. Okay, I, I saw it, but for people who didn't, what what happened? So basically, uh, uh, Rom lost to Commander Jesse, yeah. and as a special guest. Flo came up to interview them instead of one of us interviewing him. Yeah. So Flo took the mic and went, Commander Jesse, how did it feel to body, you know, Rom? Um, and he was like, oh, you know, he's a good fight or whatever like that. And then he turns to Rom and he's like, so how did it feel to get bodied by Commander Jesse? And Rom said, well, it wasn't as bad as the 10-2 that you lost last week. Oh. Uh, uh, the dagger. so bad. And who, Flo, did he, who did he uh, lose to last week, 10-2? Uh, Bushin style. Oh, the daggers. The legend. And then, <sighs> and then Flo just, that was it. Because yeah, before that, he was like, because the funniest Bushin thing about uh, it was before it happened, uh, he was like, I don't, I, I'm not an interviewing kind of guy. I don't know if I could do the interview. And then he was like, all right, no, no, I got this. I'll do this. I'll do this. And then that happened. Yo, Ron came like, with the hammer. Nice work, that was like a Looney Tunes Boom. thing. It was like, he was oh, like, well, someone, blah, blah, blah. Someone tweeted it. Someone Boom. tweeted it out right there. Yeah. Uh, Instant destruction. It was crazy. Yeah, it I couldn't believe how good it was. Best, Rom it was is so a hero. The best. And you can hear Steve just oh, the cackle. cackling <laughs> in the background. It was so good. It's so good. Oh, dude, it's so good. It's so good. This is genuine laughter, by the way. <laughs> okay, I actually said like got him. Like, I was like, got him. All right, I, All right. I, I have to play this for the stream then. Okay, I've got to. A cackle? Yeah, just, yeah, you should just put it on your thing. Man, I just gave myself a cough laughing at that. <laughs> <laughs> I made da David laugh that hard <laughs> at a non fart joke. That is incredibly impressive. All right, here, I got to get this on the stream. Oh, now I got the hiccups too. <laughs> 
Damn, that was a that was a bad <laughs> Nice work, okay, hang on a second, hang on a second, guys. Let's let the stream. Bodied by Just Aram. It's better than the 10-2 that you got last week. <laughs> <laughs> it froze on that face. Lowest face was so the good. First and last. Uh, your your laugh, your laugh reminds me of Ren Ho. Uh, interviews? <laughs> Ren. <laughs> Back to the casters. He just, he just holds, holds up the, the mic, mic up. Yeah. Like he has to hold it yeah, away. Yeah, yeah. Can you play it from starting? I just want to play it. You gotta hear the laugh. I turned the volume way up for the stream oh on that one, dude. God. Oh my god. That oh. was seriously the best thing ever, dude. Didn't see it coming. No. <laughs> I didn't Freud. see it coming, but that's what wow. you get for posting that photo of me on the box. Yeah. I told funny. you not that there was no photos, man. You guys. Just. You got caught on the box. <laughs> and I know it was no need. I mean, it was a need for the box. <laughs> oh, David is dead. All right, guys. We need to have David live, so he's going to go get some water. <laughs> dude, that does sound like That's the red laugh, dude. The red laugh. That's good. <laughs> That's good. That was Damn. Good oh, man. I'm just going to. I gotta remember that. I gotta go check that out when I get home. Got it's a good one. It's a good one. <laughs> all right, guys. All right, all. Thank you Have for tuning night. in. Have a good day. Peace. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you guys soon. So, again, I said all our streams. We're all streaming all the time now. Peace out, everybody. Keep Sub Zero's grand. Keep